I'm Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Today we're going to talk about low pH issues in your aquarium and three quick and easy ways that you can solve them. Now I'm not going to go into pH in depth because it's pretty complicated, but for the sake of today's show, all you need to know about pH is that the lower the pH is, the harder it is on your hard corals. So that means they're going to turn brown, they're going to bleach out, and potentially completely die off. So Here's some ultra blue tenuous that I lost this summer. There's a uh, 80 bucks gone. That was my show colony. That sucked. Then I lost some red Millie. That's a nice prize piece. I lost that one too. That was growing nice. And then I lost some RA Pearlberry. That sucked. Uh, that's about another 40 bucks. It was growing really well when it died. So there's three quick and easy ways that you can solve low pH. And let's start with the first one, which is going to take place right on the other side of my helm. First step in raising your tank's pH, open your windows. Most low pH problems are caused by excess CO2 inside of your home. So when you open the windows, it lets in all this fresh air, and CO2 levels go down, raises the pH of your tank. Now, if you live in Wisconsin in the winter, it's going to be too damn cold to open up the windows, and if you live down here in Texas in the summer, it's too damn hot. But in the in-between seasons, it's a great way to raise the pH of your tank. Here's an easy second step that you can use to raise the pH of your tank, and it's right down here. Here we are down here, and this is the second way on how to raise your tank's pH. And all you gotta do is pass your skimmer line to the outside of your home. Now this is the air inlet for my skimmer, and by moving it outside, I'm sucking in all this outside fresh air. It's getting pulled into my skimmer and then mixed with my tank water, which is raising my tank's pH, because that's oxygen-rich water. Now to do this, just grab a drill bit, drill it through your wall, and run a little bit of air line outside your home. Of course, make sure you seal it up with some silicone because you can get some pretty nasty critters. Especially down here in Texas, we get some nasty things. You don't want that in your house because I guarantee it'll be in of your tank oral. So let's go inside and I'll show you the third way to raise your tank's pH. The third way to raise your tank's pH is actually my most favorite. It involves using calc wasser, or calc for short, to raise your tank's pH. So what you do is you dissolve calc wasser into your water in your auto top off reservoir. You're going to do this at a maximum of two teaspoons of calc per gallon of top-off water. So this is five gallons of top-off water that I use for my tank, and I put about eight teaspoons of calc. It gives me a little bit of extra leeway and safety net in uh, dosing this. So as my auto top-off system runs and it tops off my tank for that water that's evaporated off, it's gonna take this high pH water because the pH of this um, top-off water is gonna be about 12 or so, but since I've added this calc to it. Pump that into my tank, raise the pH in my tank, keep my hard corals healthy. And calc is also great because it raises the calcium levels in your tank too. So your pH goes up, your calcium levels go up, your hard corals are happy, you're happy because you're not watching all your beautiful frags and colonies die off, and it's really cheap and effective way to raise your tank's pH. So between opening the windows in your house, running your skimmer tube outside, and adding calc to your tank, these are three easy ways that you can raise your tank's pH and have your happier, healthier tank and corals included as well. So I'm Mark Callahan, this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV.